Hey, how you doing? A big thank you to everybody who entered to win the painting last week. That was a lot of fun. And congratulations, Catherine. I hope you like the painting. If, uh, when you get it, if you hang it in your house, take a picture and send it to me. I'd love to put it on my website. Uh, and that's going to be something that I continue to do. And in fact, uh, this week I'm going to give away the study of uh, the Maryland, the gold Maryland I did for when I painted the skateboard maybe two or three weeks ago. So if you want to win that painting, I'll put a picture up. Uh, just go to johnpeters.com. And then today we are going to uh, paint a really simple painting. I really believe that anybody could paint this painting. This is the painting. It's mostly sky. If you're an accomplished painter, you probably uh, don't want to do this, or maybe you do. Uh, but if you've never painted before, I think that this is a good way to sort of get your feet wet. So let's just go ahead and get started. I wanted to first point out what I'm painting on. This is referred to as eighth inch masonite. You can buy this at any home store. I've cut it into eight by 10 panels and I've just put a little gesso on here for the white background. The first thing I'm gonna do is draw a line about an inch and a half at the bottom. And this is an old woodworking trick that I've learned, but you could just measure up and then put a straight edge across and draw a line. This area here, I'm going to fill in with a sky color. I'm using a scrap piece of plywood for my palette and I'm only using about, looks like five colors on this painting. This is cerulean blue, flake white, permanent green light, and now I'll add a little bit of burnt umber, and a little bit of black. So right off the bat, I'll start mixing the sky, and I'll take a good chunk of this white, bring it over here, and just a little bit of this blue. And I think the biggest mistake that people make is they think a sky and then they think a little white and a little blue. But it's really, really bright. And so I want to knock that color down. And you can use all kinds of colors to knock your sky down. But just to keep this simple, let's start with a little bit of the burnt umber. And that just takes a little bit of the, the high key out of that color. I'll grab a little bit of this paint. Actually, I'll just grab a lot of the paint and bring it right over here to the sky and start to push it all around the sky. I think I'll stay about a half of an inch above this line here. I've still got a little bit of the blue left and I want to make this darker, so now I'm going to add a little black and maybe a little more burnt umber. And I'll use this for this upper part of the sky. Now this area right in here, I'll just use a little of the white that's right out of the tube and now this looks kind of I guess like a low cloud right on the horizon line and now I want to deal with this part in here and it's going to uh, kind of have a wetlands look to it so the first thing I want to do is mix up a little green and I'll start with permanent green but again that's in a very high key so I want to knock that down a little bit and I'll take a little bit with my palette knife that already has some of the gray on it and a little more of this burnt umber and maybe a little white. And I'll grab a little bit of that color and basically I'll keep some open areas which will represent water. And for this watercolor, I'll come over to the palette here and grab a little more of this blue, the cerulean blue, and add it in with the gray, the darker gray that I mixed up. And I'll take that color and just throw it in here where the water is. And maybe throw a, a few 
pure white highlights in there and they'll kind of look like a beach maybe sand or something like that okay and really that's all there is to it this is the one that I had done sort of to practice for the video and this is the one that I just did now and uh, you know I think that they have the kind of a nice calm wetlands feel I'm not saying they're great paintings but they do sort of help break the ice and start painting it with color. Now, there are only three colors used in these paintings. Cerulean blue, burnt umber, permanent green, black, and white. Okay, well, I hope you got something out of the video. Again, this is really geared toward the beginning or the beginner painter. And it's meant just to have a lot of fun and not to get too stressed out. I think the big thing is often people will make these paintings that are just so bright and I what I'm trying to get across is just try to knock those colors down and, and that might work for you it works for me uh, again uh, the painting that I'm giving away on my site this week this is the study that I did for the gold Maryland skateboard so if you want a chance to win this just go to johnpeters.com it's so much fun to have these little paintings sort of floating all around the world uh, I really enjoy it so uh, and I appreciate everybody participating in it and also, if you make one of these paintings, uh, send me a photo. I'd love to put it on my website. It's, it's just a lot of fun, all the interaction with all the different artists and craftsmen out there. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great week, and I'll see you next week.